Hello and welcome to the New Haven and Peace Haven U3A Christmas Quiz Round 4. And the theme for this round is In the Beginning. So you need to think about how the word begins. Question 1. Which is the only state in the USA to have a royal palace? Number two, according to T.S. Eliot's poem, The Wasteland, which is the cruelest mum. Number three, by what other name is the scaly anteater known? Number four, which town was originally named New Anzac on Sea? Somewhere on the coast then. And number four, in 1961, who was the first human being in space? Six, which musical percussion instrument consists of a series of graduated wooden bars struck with hard-headed hammers? How many musicians we got out there? Number seven, which cocktail served in a salted glass consists of tequila, Kiriko and lemon juice. Number eight, a scuba diver uses self-contained underwater breathing. What? Number nine, in 1967, who was the first British contestant to win the Eurovision Song Contest, earning a near record number of votes for the song Puppet on a String? I can hear you dancing in along and dancing to it now. And number 10, when Victor Hugo wanted to know how well his novel Les Miserables was selling, he sent his publisher a letter consisting of only a question mark. The book was selling very well. What was his publisher's equally short reply? Well, shall we move on to the answers? Are you ready for the final answers in our final round? So, the Royal Palace, where is it? It's in Hawaii, and that begins with an H. T.S. Eliot's poem, it's April is the cruelest month, giving us an A. The scaly anteater, a pangolin, giving us a P. Anzac on sea is now called Peace Haven, another P. And the first human being in space, of course, Yuri Gagarin, giving us why. The musical instrument we were looking for is a xylophone. And our drink, margaritas. Oh, lovely. I'll have one as soon as I've finished this presentation. The scuba diver uses breathing apparatus so we've got an a there and of course it was puppy on a string wasn't it and that was sandy shore so happy xmas and what did hugo victor hugo's publisher send back it was an exclamation mark and happy christmas to everyone a merry christmas to you all and if you haven't tried our other quizzes, round one has a theme of numbers, round two, all creatures great and small, round three, over the rainbow. Why not check them out? I'm sure you'll enjoy them. And I do hope you got more marks than I did when I tried these questions without the answers.